we say to ourselves when we're alone in our subconscious minds, what we say out loud about ourselves and others affect us dramatically. When we say we're not good enough, when we say we're stupid, or when we judge other people just out of habit, I used to do the same thing, it brings us down and puts us in a negative place. Life is what you make of it, this life. If we're willing to take in knowledge and learn and to strive to have a happier life, we're going to have a happier life. Learning to change the way you think and look and perceive reality and yourself is very powerful. Creating and being able to create a new, brighter, successful, happier life for yourself in your future would be laughed about 20 years ago. But today it's not. It's complete seriousness and it's changing lives all over the place. Um, our lives depend and evolve and, and are successful depending on, only on how we look and perceive reality in our, our actions, how we look at ourselves. When we're able to start practicing looking at ourselves in a bigger sense, that yes, you can do this. Yes, I'm good enough. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I'm grateful for this. I got gratitude in my heart. I'm just grateful for... When you start saying out loud gratitude, being grateful for stuff, being grateful for family, grateful for what you have and stuff, your attitude is going to change and you become a lot more happier in life. Um, uh, it's so important to... Be, be honest with yourself and others and to go around with an open heart and to leave the resentment and anger to the people that want to be miserable. Okay, Because the more we think about anger and resentment and past experiences, pretty much for a golden rule, we have the past in the past. It's nice to go back and think about it sometimes. But most of the times when we go back in the past, um, it puts us not in the best place. Um, it's better to stay in the moment, to stay for today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that. Um, when we go back and we look in the past, it's usually because we're beating ourselves up and we're looking at, uh, it, we're, we're human beings, it's a survival instinct in us to analyze things, analyze threat. When we've had traumatic trauma in our lives, it is very important that we use, that we get help for it and deal with it. And uh, how I get dealt with it is manifesting mindfulness meditation. Um, when these things are not dealt with, we go our whole lives being afraid of things that we don't need to be afraid of. Being afraid of love, being afraid of being getting too close to somebody because you've been hurt so much in life. Um, being thinks because sometimes when you're getting screwed over so many times in life, and I have, um, you start to think that people, all people, are bad, and all people aren't bad, but it's understandable. Um, you know, especially, um, you know, these days and age, um, and it's a sad feeling to have inside to think that all people are bad are all bad. It's going to make you feel sad inside. And being honest, being truthful, to that person in your life or someone you care about or, you know, or being able to lift someone up who's having a bad day, sad, and maybe, you know, doesn't want to be around anymore. Being able to do anything that's able to help anybody, whether it's with volunteering at a soup kitchen or helping someone, mentoring, helping someone with anything. That's what brings really the real happiness in life when we're able to bring um when we're able to benefit others when we're able to um uplift others that are in sadness and there's a lot of sadness going around um and depression depression um and this is overlooked a lot of times and um 
And that's why I'm saying this. We need to start getting real and more attention needs to start getting put on people judging other people and us judging ourselves and other people and always having to put a name on somebody. Um, I come across it a lot when, you know, I used to do it myself, you know, analyzing people. Um, none of us, it's not good for us as humans to analyze people. If someone's big boned or looks different, um, everyone's beautiful in their own way. And for us just to observe and not analyze somebody, it's going to make it, believe it or not, a lot better chance for you to be a lot more happier once you're able to stop doing that. Um, we need to stop being afraid of the world and what other people think. It's holds so many people back in life being afraid of what other people think and what the world thinks. So many people are living in lack and living insecure because of worrying about what other people think, worrying about failure, worrying about letting down their parents, their friends, or whoever, you know, they, you know, their ask whatever their aspirations are in life. Um, the major thing in life is to go for what your passion is, what you love, what you uh, um, aspire to do. Um, we can't take the, we can't take the past back. We can't go back in the past and fix things. I live most of half my life living in the past. Um, I don't anymore. But we can change today in the future. All that matters is today and tomorrow, the next day after, what we can do. Because we can't go back in a time machine. We need to learn to start forgiving ourselves. Letting go. Creating a new identity, if you have to. That's what I pretty much did. Letting go of the past resentments and anger and getting caught up in judging others and judging yourself. A lot of people out there judging themselves think they're not as good as they actually are. And I see it a lot. And try to stay around positive people. When you stay, who we stay around, who we spend our time with dictates and is going to be an outcome of how our life turns out to be. If we're hanging out with people that are bummers and depressing and don't treat us so well and are downers, we're going to keep feeling depressed and we're not going to go anywhere in life, right? But when we change our circumstances, we change our atmosphere, we change our ideals, our logics, and our, uh, and our principles and how we look at things in life, things really become pretty miraculous and magical. Um, the power of the mind, okay? Put your success on paper. Put what your aspirations are. Put what makes you happy. If there's something out there that makes you happy to do, my advice, try to do it for a living. Okay? Because when something you're really passionate about, you're going to keep being passionate. You're going to go out of your way to put in a lot of work. And it's a fact that when most, you know, when people are really passionate about something, they really succeed. It's so important for people to have passions and hobbies in life. You're feeling lost or stuck, um, maybe that might be you. I've been there. But remember uh, how you think, what you think about dictates your personality as well. When people see a happy personality come out of you and not like kind of a mean looking face, you're going to be a lot more approachable and you're going to draw more people into your life. Put a smile on your face even when you don't want to. Open that door up. Say thank you. Show gratitude, and your life will change. Hope you have a great day. Let's talk to you later. Please subscribe.